welcome back to our Hungry Adventures and welcome to Nepal, guys. Today we will be exploring Kathmandu city and I'm very excited about it even though this is not my first trip to Nepal. Probably because I already know how delicious Nepali food is and because I'm very hungry. Today we will be wandering around the city center of Kathmandu, we'll visit a couple local landmarks, we'll do some shopping because I need a jacket. Last night it was 10 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold after Thailand. We'll try to find out, find out what Nepali people eat on a regular basis. We'll try some local dishes, so it's going to be pretty fun. And if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you're ready to waste your precious time together with me, you can join me in this hungry adventure. Let's go! And you better be ready because it's going to be quite noisy and dusty adventure. guys this one is called momo i've ordered a portion with buff yeah, buffalo meat in other words these are steamed dumplings there are three major types of uh, steamed dumplings of momo in nepal with chicken with buffalo meat and vegetarian and this is probably one of the most popular dishes for nepali people and for international tourists for international visitors because they are amazingly tasty and you can find them literally everywhere. They are easy to cook, they are easy to find and they are not expensive. This portion cost only 140 Nepali rupee, which is around, I don't know, a little bit more than a dollar US. Yeah. Mm. A little bit spicy with this special sauce broth broth and sauce amazingly tasty mm. wow they really remind me of russian russian dumplings but these are more delicious and many times more cheap absolutely beautiful slightly spicy mm. Arroy. <laughs> Just look at this amazing transportation. How much? How much? How much to Chetrapati? Chetrapati, how much? How much? 500. 500 rupees. 500 rupees, I can go to airport. <laughs> but it's a good try, it's a good try. 100. How much? 200. 200. 150? <laughs> okay. Hundred fifty? Okay. <laughs> Very beautiful. It's called rickshaw, right? Yeah. Rickshaw. Okay. And if it... I do same with my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh. Namaste. Actually, the place where we are going right now, Chetrapati, is not really far. We can walk and reach it in five, six, seven minutes from there. But we've met this nice gentleman and he didn't say just, oh, mister, give me money. He said, do you want a taxi? And 200 Nepali rupee is around less than $2 US, literally 50 baht. I count, I calculate everything in my head in Thai baht. And it's very easy, you just need to divide 
price you see in Nepali rupee by four. For example, if you see something 1,000 Nepali rupee, you divide it on four by four, and uh, it's going to be 250 baht. In my head, everything is Thai baht. So 200 Nepali rupee is just 50 baht. Not that much. Same price you pay in Bangkok motorbike taxi, but this one is more exciting. And besides, you support local workers, local people. You guys, and this is the city center called Tamil. There are many ho cheap hotels here, many budget-friendly options, but it might be a little bit difficult to sleep at night because of the constant traffic. Many motorbikes, many taxis, all of them are honking constantly. And as you see on right side, on left side, lots of clothes for sale, various jackets, pants, shoes, items of art, and etc. I promised you a walking tour, but here we are having a bicycle tour around. <laughs> Tamil. And here on the right side probably there is a school because there are many many kids wearing same green uniform. This is the magic magic tree. Tini Kodai uh, can stop here. Here okay sir. Yeah yeah. Oh slowly slowly. Yeah. Oops! Oops! <laughs> I'm heavy! <laughs> 300, can I take photo with it for 300? Okay, I'll give you 500, 200 please. But you help take photo please. <laughs> wow. And the reason why we came here to this tree, to this area called Chetrapati, because there is a coffee shop and three years ago when I went to Nepal for the very first time the owner of this place uh, gave me many cool tips and he sells very delicious coffee. Also here I bought my first SIM card from Encel uh, Network. Yeah, I came here for coffee. <laughs> Cappuccino, 140 baht. Two uh, Nepali rupee which is around 35 baht, about one dollar US. All right, time to do some shopping. This is probably the fastest bike, the fastest bicycle in Kathmandu city. Four tanks with nitro. All right, guys. It's shopping time. Let's find me a jacket, a couple socks, maybe warm underwear to keep my stick clean and warm. <laughs> you see guys, you can come to Kathmandu in shorts and flip-flops and then buy everything here for trekking, for hiking, for climbing. Looks great. How much is it? 6,500. 6, uh-huh, 6,500. So it's like $50 around. And how much for this one? 2,800. But of course you can make discount, right? <laughs> We're in Kathmandu. I'm not sure that I like it. You guys, check out this one. Camouflage. Looks great. And also a hood. I feel very warm and it's not that huge. Can we bargain a little bit? You say 5,000, I say 3,000, and then you say how much? 4,000? 4,200. Okay. okay. <laughs> when you walk around Kathmandu, you see these shops selling uh, different jackets, 
pants and shoes and so on. So they uh, buy ingredients, the products usually from China, like this fur and materials and so on. And they sew it here in Kathmandu, usually in the same shop, just in the back room. And then they sell it here. So this is probably not original North, uh, the North face. I got another one on my back. However, the quality is great and the price is lower than uh, in, in official North, North uh, Star face. Okay, okay. 800 and 200. 200 and 800. What's the difference? This is cotton and this one? That is mix. Mix of dog and mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you wear it, it will be a little loose and you. Goes I think off. if you give me scissors and I will cut my finger a little, but will cut my toes a little bit, then it will be okay. It will be perfect. <laughs> But feels very warm. Okay. All right. I'll buy two two pairs. How long is gonna last? One year, two year, three year? It goes two three years. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, if the, if this material will be pro, uh, torn, you can change another one also. But inside it will be good. All right. All right. You can put it in this small bag. Really? Yes. Really? Wow. Very easy to carry. Nice. How much is it? This 1000. 1000. Yes. Uh -huh. 250 baht. Wow, looks good. But I have already, so I think uh, I'm not going to play with snow this time. <laughs> All right, how much for total? Jacket and two oh, pairs of socks. 5,400. 5,400. With good, best discount. Best discount, okay. <laughs> 5,400 Nepali rupee for everything, which is 1,400 uh, Thai baht or around $40 US. A very good deal because this is a really uh, good quality jacket. There are cheaper options which you can buy like twice or maybe even three times cheaper. But I know if I'm going to rent a bike in Pokhara and ride to, to, uh, to the mountains somewhere to Dampus for example in the evening after the sunset it's gonna be pretty cold <laughs> which is why I decided to buy really cool jacket which is which looks by the way quite nice this camouflage style I'm not sure is it possible to find some underpants to protect the lower part of my body from cold and freezing uh, wind we can try anyway we need to walk a little bit so that we can enjoy the second most legendary Nepali dish which local people love to eat for lunch and for dinner Dalbat, which is just number one for me, together with Momo, of course. This looks like no, this not not underpants. There's a huge shop. <laughs> Is it the longest shop in Tamil? Yeah, like I said, you can come to Nepal in shorts and flip-flops and buy everything here. And it's gonna be cheaper than in your country, no matter where you are. Nice. Турция, марш. 
made in Nicaragua. Interesting. And how much is this set? 4500. Forty-five hundred. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forty-five hundred. Four thousand five hundred Nepali rupee, which is around one thousand one hundred baht for this set. Probably you cannot buy similar set for this price in Thailand, and it really looks like it's from Under Armour. All stitches, the logo looks looks real. But we can negotiate a little bit, right? <laughs> or inside there. Over? Yeah, come here. Okay. Ah, this green door. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm not sure I really need it. I might just buy it and then send it to, to Thailand so that I can use it later when I come back in Thailand uh, or when I come back to Nepal again for the winter season because I want to hike in the winter here because this is a really good price so this is L size but it feels a little bit tight so I asked the lady to give me uh, the XL to try it because I just can't breathe in it yeah this one looks a bit better probably I look like a sausage with my 95 kilograms of weight but it feels pretty comfortable of course it's not original under armor what a huge ass <laughs> feels pretty nice on the skin Let's try to negotiate. What do you think? Good size? Which size is that? XL? This is uh, XL, yeah. Uh, but this is good. Good? Yeah. Other one is a little bit tight, no? Yeah, it's very tight. Can breathe. This is more comfortable. Okay, how much? It's very nice, no? Huh? It's very good. How much? What is the price? What is the best price? About 4,000. 4,000. 300. Oh, 3,500. Ken? <laughs> Can? 3,800. 3,800. 3,800. Uh huh. 3,800. Okay. 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 3,800 rupees, which is less than 1,000 uh, Thai baht. Nice. Nice deal. Probably you can bargain more, you can get lower price, or walk around, find something cheaper. But reason number one, I just don't want to look too cheap and bargain too hard because uh, they don't make much money of it. And the reason number two, I don't have much time. We need to visit some local landmarks and uh, we need to try more delicious Nepali food. This is more interesting. How much you say? 3,000? 700 <laughs> Please How to say bye bye in Nepalese? Bye 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 Namaste is hello. Tata is bye bye. Tata. <laughs> A tata. <laughs> tata. Work in the progress. <laughs> I think that even three years ago, they still were doing something here at the exact same location. The air is pretty dusty, maybe not that dusty as it was three years ago, but still I can feel ah, something's happening in my nose.
but at least I'm not coughing. And in case you think Thailand is the only country with wires above your head, well, you can feel yourself at home here in Kathmandu city. This is where we are going, quality cafe. Mick, mick, mick. And this is the reason why I don't want to drive motorcycle in Kathmandu. It's a little bit tricky here. If you are not used to this kind of traffic, then yeah, it might be a little bit tricky. Namaste, sir. Namaste! Okay, okay. Yeah, Bangkok is a kin kindergarten. Here, you gotta be really pro. But if you book taxi with, with app, like Patawa, it's pretty cheap. I thought it was a mirror. Wow, quiet place, amazing. All right, guys, this is a single portion. <laughs> And now you probably understand why I love this dish so much. It is called dalbat. Dalbat is actually two words. Dal means lentil soup here uh, in this little cup. And bat means uh, steamed rice, same like uh, khao soi in Thailand, steamed rice. So this is the steamed rice and this is dal, uh, lentil soup. And usually this dish uh, is served together with, with a few side dishes, uh, vegetable curry, greens uh, if you order non-vegetarian uh, uh, version it might be chicken or it might be uh, mutton also pickles fresh vegetables uh, this is something like uh, local yogurt probably if you feel a little bit spicy you can uh, get some relief by eating this yogurt i don't remember what's the name of it uh, also some extra thick sauce which looks like paste I don't know what it is and something else every restaurant every place cook it differently um, sometimes there might be only three side dishes sometimes they might be 10 or 20 depending on the style in some luxurious restaurants you can find just huge a huge plate with many 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 various side dishes but this one is probably one of the most popular and classic versions chicken dal bat and I just can't wait to try it local people sometimes maybe in 50% of cases eat it, everything with hands but uh, to me everything is easier with spoon and with fork so I eat it uh, like I used to eat it in Thailand I take one spoon of this I take some rice and put it in my mouth Mmm, this chicken curry is fantastic. It is very delicious. Mm. You see these are pieces of chicken in the curry. And smell, smell is amazing guys. You really have to try it one day if you can. Let's take a piece of chicken. Add some rice. Mm. Bone goes out. Wow, it's amazing. And I always feel amazed even more about local rice. The rice is not the same as in Thailand. Mm. 
I don't know, it's just amazing. Very tasty, very fitting thing. This dish has so many calories, but you need it. When you go on track for many days, you need to restore this energy, especially when you get to the areas with high altitude. You need the energy to not feel sick. And this is the lentil soup, rich with nutrients, with vitamins, rich with protein too. It is called dal. This is, this is my Thai style of eating any, any dishes with rice. You take a spoon of rice, you put it inside, and then you put it in your mouth. Mm, very yummy. But locals usually mix everything on this plate together with rice. But I prefer to try everything individually. Individually. Thai style. Mm, wow. Mm. And this is the vegetable curry. The cup itself is not that big. However, there are many cups on one a single dalbat dish, which is why you feel yourself very full after completing it. Of course, if you can, if you're a talented, hungry adventurer like this one. Hungry is a machine that never breaks. And everything on this plate is slightly spicy, to be honest. Maybe because, uh, because many tourists can't handle spicy. However, if you will uh, get out of tourist area of Tamil, we'll get a chance to try real spicy Nepalese cuisine where the local people eat. Okay, I gotta continue. Because it's just too delicious to wait. And guess now, how much does it cost? Come on, just guess. 365 Nepali rupees, which is 100 baht, or a little bit less than $3 US for this huge meal. Amazing, one of many reasons why I love Nepali food. It is amazingly delicious, and it is not expensive, of course. All right. Time to visit some local landmarks. A very exciting <laughs> traffic rules. <laughs> wow. Let's find a taxi. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Guys, this is gonna be a dusty, noisy trip through the traffic jam, evening traffic jam. <laughs> Very excited about it. <laughs> good Nepal. Huh? Nepal good. Good. Traffic jam good. <laughs> <laughs> Nepal food good. I went to Nepal three years ago and and I, I thought oh it's so over overwhelming. And then I went to India and visited 16 cities around India. <laughs> and then I realized how quiet and peaceful Nepal was, Kathmandu. Baharaganj, Delhi! <laughs> I will never forget this experience. <laughs> it was amazing, of course. That's a nice bike. So many Royal, royal Enfields here. Of course, they are much cheaper than in Thailand. If I would stay in India, if I would stay in Nepal, I would own Royal Enfield 100%. What an amazing machine. Dusty.
very exciting. This is one of the most magical places in inside Nepal called Bodha Stupa or Bodha Nath. And th three years ago it was possible to walk around on the stupa itself. However, one, of, one gentleman said that uh, it's closed, always closed, so it's not like uh, closed only today because we are late. For some reason it's no longer allowed to walk around. But at least we can walk around here on this territory. There are many guest houses around, around this stupa. And it feels pretty special to be here. Maybe it's because of this smoke from various incense sticks and etc. Pretty cool to be here. And this is the monastery, if I remember right. But we can check it out. Maybe we can walk inside. In some places in Nepal, it's not allowed to make video. Some places not allowed to enter non-Hindu people. So sometimes you just cannot show everything you see around. Can you go up? Okay. Can the video? Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Yes, yeah, so we can make video here and we can go here. However, usually after 6, 6.30 p.m. this place is closed. We need to get to, to the last floor because from the last floor the view is the most amazing in this square around this stupa. The view is absolutely mesmerizing and for some reason not that many people know about this uh, rooftop, so-called rooftop, the last floor, which is why right now I'm the only visitor here and somebody who, who is working here, of course. Really beautiful, really peaceful. This place is definitely must visit for everyone who is coming to, to Nepal. Welcome to Nepal, guys. Thank you. 
and we are back to the evening chaos of traffic jams around Kathmandu. The way back is going to be a little bit harder. I remember it's really possible to stuck here. So it is better to get back by motorbike too, because if you are coming by car, if there is a cow standing in the middle of the road, nobody is going to move it. It will be standing and there will be traffic jam and people will, will, will be trying to pass around. So yeah, let's jump on a bike again. Patau, right? Okay, okay. By Durbar Square. Guys, and this is this place called Kathmandu Underbar Square. Back in the old days, royal family used to stay here, used to live here. I mean, in the palace. And to be precise, uh, royal family of Kathmandu Kingdom. In the daytime, uh, if you want to visit this place, if you are a foreigner, you gotta pay uh, for a ticket. But it's not just to enter inside; it's also for some museums located uh, on premises of the old palace. However, after 6 p.m. there is no security, no one is checking do you have ticket or not, so you can come here and wander around freely. In fact, even visiting Buddha Stupa that we, we, that we have just left, uh, you need to pay 400, baht, uh, 400 rupees, Nepali rupees, to enter. But after 5.30, after 6 p.m. no one is checking do you have ticket or not. So this is the tip if you want to see both places but don't want to pay for the ticket even though it's not that expensive you can visit them after 5 5 30 pm in fact this is just the square people are walking around walking through there are many guest houses around there are many restaurants but to me one of the most beautiful places here is the statue of kali i gotta show it to you
Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Guys, I didn't know I've got so many friends in Kathmandu. <laughs> right, guys. This is the end of the episode. This was the first episode from Nepal, and there will be a few more. So I gotta ask you only one thing, smash the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. It's very important for YouTube algorithms, so really smash it. And I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon, somewhere else in Nepal. Bye bye. Meanwhile, I gotta find some Momo for dinner. Momo. Mama, no, Momo. <laughs> Probably it was the first. The, my first words <laughs> right after I was born.